Some great news for non-certified substitute teachers and police officers working for the SAISD. You want to know what's trending on Twitter right now? Oh, I don't even want to know. Thanksgiving oh, and Christmas. No. Halloween's over. It's time for the rest of the holiday. Riverfest was held to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Santa Fe Park, the completion of the Concho River improvements, and to showcase what is available along the water. It's a sign of the economic growth and oil field development. Six new hotels are in the works in San Angelo. Dirt. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You got plans later on for tonight? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get up early in the morning, so nothing for us. We're celebrating right now. See the exactly. orange going on here. And in mid-January, the Space Cowboys will launch their probe right here from their football field. It'll have a three-hour journey moving out of this world at 1,000 feet per minute. Secretary of State John Steen announced early voting will begin today and run through November 1st. To continue keeping up with the latest technology, a new piece of equipment is arriving at the Imaging Center within the next year. Shannon will soon have tomography. For the first time since February of 2011, the price of gasoline in San Angelo has dropped below $3 a gallon. ADAC is here to help people who have an addiction. They're doing their part to protect the community while the police department is doing theirs. While Congress and the president bicker over who is at fault for the partial government shutdown, I headed out into rough terrain in Tom Green County with Rollins to see how his team has been conducting their research through this multi-million dollar project. First, the birds are caught at night in funnel traps, removed and placed into pillowcases, and are then tested on in the morning. After each testing, the birds are released back into their natural habitat. I can breathe outside. It feels so good out there, doesn't it? Nice and cool. Even with this new tanning law in effect, tanning beds and booths like this one will still be used by tanners, contributing to the $5 billion a year industry. We head out to Zetner's Daughter, where Pat Atterbury is celebrating with the third, fourth, and fifth grade first place winners. Amanda was diagnosed with stage 2B breast cancer. She had her first round of chemotherapy three weeks ago and has another round later this week. She says the hardest part was losing her hair. Because there is there's no pain involved, there was nothing. It is pure, 100% emotion when, it, when you sit down in that chair and, and you see it coming off. But she says it's all worth it if she can help save the lives of other women. What we're really paying attention to is the rain that's going to be coming in Sunday night into Monday. We're seeing about a 60% chance of that rain. This final document, titled the Interlocal Agreement, did not include the $100,000 limitation. It was also never signed by the city attorney. Heavy smoke is reported in the area. No word on any injuries. For the very latest, head over to ConchoValleyHomePage.com and the KLST News at noon. All meals served at SAISD are planned by the district, but must meet guidelines set by the federal government. Welcome back. We're here with Corey Knapp of Shannon. She's going to be telling us all about the Pretty in Pink shopping night. How fitting for October's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Tell us all about the event. A hairnet? Not at all especially if it means I get to tour to Cody Coffee headquarters. This is our uh, specialty coffee production area. She called you her role model. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot to me to know that she looks up to me and that I can lead her down a good path. And Taylor, he calls his father his best friend. He's everything. Um, he pushes me the hardest. He uh, gives me the advice I need at all times. Um, he's always there no matter what. It's kind of nice to have him. Um, he's more than a rock, he's a boulder. The campaign started in 2011 to attempt to reduce the number of alcohol-related crashes in Texas. The City Council will meet here at the McNeese Convention Center at 9 a.m. on Tuesday to discuss whether or not to pay the next invoice, which would bring the amount that the city has spent on the partnership to $250,000. A facility needs to be built here at Metcalf and East Avenue L by fall of 2014. It's at that time when if we receive no rain for the next year in San Angelo, we'll be out of water. Temperatures are very warm and conditions are really dry, not only here in St. Angelo, but throughout the state, but it could be worse. We did see a record high of 104 degrees back in 2000, so a high of 97 today isn't so bad, right? Mostly sunny skies out there, northeast winds. Shuford is one of 17 new officers you will see here in San Angelo. We have 17 rookies out there that just hit the street and they are ready to go to work. National Cowboy Day celebrates part of what Americana is all about and what's better than, than Texas and San Angelo, Texas is one of the top cowboy towns 
uh, in the country. And so we want to make sure that people come and enjoy what we have right here in our own town. So grab your hat and join the Cowboys this Saturday at Fort Concho. It's been 12 years, but San Angelo has not forgotten. To remember those who died on September 11, 2001, San Angelo held a 9-11 prayer service on Wednesday. While Avery Sickles is just like any other seven-year-old, she does have one extra battle to fight. Avery is undergoing chemotherapy treatments. She has leukemia. She and I both, from the beginning, had the mindset of, you know what, we're going to win. No questions. Accu weather is calling it broiling out there, so very warm. We're going to see a high of 99 today, sunny and warm conditions. The West Texas Paranormal Research Organization has investigated 27 hauntings since they started ghost hunting in 1996. One ghost they have been working with for the past six years is right here in San Angelo. Her name is Edie Grierson. Officers' quarters number one at Fort Concho the old home of Colonel Benjamin Grierson and his family. In 1878, Grierson's 13-year-old daughter Edie contracted typhoid fever and died right here in this room. There's a heaviness, uh, kind of a tightness in the chest around the heart, uh, and then you begin to kind of feel pressure. Heidinger is explaining what it feels like to know you're in the presence of a ghost. He knows because he is part of a paranormal research group who has investigated more than 25 hauntings in West Texas. We're a group of people that's had paranormal experiences in our life and we're just trying to understand that we're not crazy. Using thousands of dollars worth of equipment that monitors air temperature, electromagnetic waves, frequency and records sound, the West Texas Paranormal Research Organization has made contact with Edie. The first time was six years ago. And about 3 o'clock in the morning, we picked up a recording of a little girl talking to us. She just says one word. Uh, one of the investigators says, Edie, you want to come play with us? And uh, immediately another little voice comes in and says, no. While we had no luck picking up her voice. Edie, are you in the room with us? If you are, could you say hello? Heidinger said she was there. I feel very warm and welcome by him. Uh, the first time we came in here, um, we kind of got a cold, sickly feeling like, oh, what are you doing here? We don't want, you know, we don't really want to contact you. Now it's almost a welcome feeling, like we're family. While Edie's playful spirit still lingers around her home at Fort Concho, her body rests here at Fairmount Cemetery. Still get chills, just remember being in Edie's room. Well, if you believe your home or business is being haunted, you can contact the West Texas Paranormal Research Group to begin an investigation. Their website is www.westtexasparanormal.org. Memories made, lost, and then found again to cherish. Michelle Kingston, KLST News.